would would AJ would be so lucky if that was the case yeah yeah the, the parking lot here there's not they're not even plowing the parking lot so people are stuck in the parking lot they're just spinning their wheels especially the empty trucks you know empty trailers I delivered here last night and they did not have a pre-plan well I came to the truck stop I delivered about I don't know a half a mile a mile away so I slept here early this morning about maybe 8 o'clock they you know WF calls me say hey we got a load in uh, Joliet Illinois that's uh, that's failing we need a driver for it and that's when this stuff started to come down real hard that said uh, no thanks I ain't going anywhere and I'm glad I did not go anywhere I would have been I would have been out there with, on the road with this mess so it would have been nice because it was going to Little Rock but yeah there are there are I'm saving myself for the rest of you know some other time don't need to put all my eggs in one basket so I don't know but uh, there's a McDonald right across the old across the parking lot but uh, right now you can't really see anything so uh, the uh, I'm in comfortably sitting in my truck the APU's running Oh, Bob, the other day I was up there in northern Wisconsin. It was minus 14 degrees. I had to, I had to close the curtain. I had to put all my jacket on top of my blankets just to stay warm. <laughs> but I survived it. Oh, the... Uh, the aftermarket, the way Basto, it, it it was hot, but it wasn't. I mean, minus 14 degrees. It just doesn't do much. Uh, my inverter is only 1500 watt. No, they don't have 110 volts on the... Uh, I, I really, I really ought to buy me a, a bunk warmer, like a bed warmer. The kind that you sleep on, you know, like a... It's almost like a sleep uh, electric blanket, but it's... You sleep on it, you don't put it on top of you, so... But everybody out here, I think all of a sudden trucks are just started to come in in the uh, parking lot. Everybody's getting off the road, I think. Yeah, yeah. I
what year is your truck? That's a, uh, what is that? That 90, 2000. Yeah. How come? <laughs> well, it's a Freightliner. Bob, it's a Freightliner. That's the way they come from the factory. <laughs> Yeah, freight liners, man. They they come windy and cold from the factory. That that they do nothing wrong with them. That's just the way they're made. That's a lot. That's a lot better weather than this one right here. Bob, you, you sound like you're already semi-retired. <laughs> They don't like it down there? Sure. What about his mom? just to get away from the oh, yeah, law thing.
CAT scan. Ultrasound. Sounds a little scary, Bob. So you... Stop at that Chinese restaurant, Bob. You, you've eaten in that Chinese restaurant, right? Yeah, yeah. No? Was that dinner or what? Ah, oh, that was, yeah, that was dinner time, yep. Yeah, Golden Corral is your restaurant, Bob.
And for the life of me, for the life of me, Bob, some of the truck drivers are leaving the parking lot. They're properly parked, and they're going out. Where in the world are they going? Yeah, I... I Oh, I've been here since last night, so yeah, I, I think I had to move to Addison Park here. <laughs> it's 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 small snow, but it's steady and it it, it doesn't quit. So, and there are. Uh, four-wheelers coming into the parking lot here getting stuck I don't know what business they're doing in here but maybe uh, local truck drivers there's a J there there's a JB hunt here to been trying to get out of here for the last hour all he's doing is just spinning his wheels yep yep sure is Oh, he's frozen. He's freezing his butts off right now. He's watching the Green Bay Packers play off right now. It's not supposedly it's the coldest football game in U.S. history. It's supposed to be like He posted uh, he posted some pictures and and uh, his wife did actually and they're all up there they're all dressed up for it there's this there's this two guys trying to shovel the snow off the JV Hunt's path <laughs> I don't know why but uh, there are two guys are actually trying to push JB Hunt truck to get it going <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're trying to push him by hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a classic, Bob. I tell you, I just they're trying to push this. <laughs> Oh, well, this JB Hunt is an owner operator JB Hunt, one of those uh, at least two JB Hunt kind of a deal. Yeah, and so he's he's been trying to get out of here for the last hour or so. So he must be really frustrated. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever done that? Blew by that uh, truck inspection area? No? Never? Must have deep pockets. All right, stay warm. Ah, right, get you later, Bob. Yeah, bye. Hey, everybody, Johnny B. Good here. I was talking to Bob. It turns out his truck is uh, year 2000. As you can see, that Jay Beyond right there has been working for the last hour. And, uh, it's 
crazy up here right now. That was funny when those two guys are actually trying to push the truck. <laughs> oh, that was funny. if I should cut this video or just let you guys keep watching it. Come on, JB. You can do it, JB. The good thing is I'm in a perfect 4G network spot right here. So, How many videos did I upload since yesterday? 32 so far. Wow. JB there you go JB don't stop don't stop keep going JB oh don't turn don't turn no no if you turn you're gonna get stuck JB Ah oh, man, he's hopeless. I think he can't go straight because I think that lane straight ahead is actually blocked. So He's stuck again. Man, I bet you he's burning up fuel pretty good. Gotta hand it to that guy with the snow shovel. He sure is bending backwards to help the guy. Now, worst case scenario is uh, he'll get stuck in the middle of something which he can't get out and blocking everybody.
there's got to be loaded. I suppose don't know what else for you guys to see what a fun fun day Now he's really stuck. I wish I was loaded, I'd put my chain behind my DOT bumper on his DOT bumper and give him a little tug. He's not going nowhere now. Hey everybody, John Beacon here. Just got done taking my shower. Can you imagine how bad this thing is on the road? 
especially when it gets dark. He's still working on it. By the way, I, uh, I managed to go into the pilot and uh, asked a fellow WEL driver to give me one of his shower. So I actually got to take a shower today. That was cool. That was very nice. Call you guys later. I mean, we'll we'll catch you guys later. We'll catch you later. Peace.